been a long journey uh, in my book. As, as Jimmy said, we probably, uh, Leadership Miami 41, uh, we began in November, at the end of October of 2019, uh, and we didn't conclude until November 2020. Uh, we went from, I think, the last in-person focus session, uh, traditional focus session, uh, took place in February of 2020. So that's, that's two years, but we're all here today, and uh, I'm super, super grateful. Uh, with that said, um, you know, one thing, gratitude is everything, and what we're all doing, we're privileged. Think about it. Think about it. If you woke up this morning, you got in your car, you're going to serve your community. It's your brand, and you're serving your company's brand. That's everything. Um, so with that, the first person, uh, you know, I'm super grateful for Ashaki giving us this opportunity to sponsor, uh, as well as uh, my bank. I don't know what about it sometimes. Uh, uh, for, for, you know, supporting us. We're very new uh, in this market. I mean, with that, has anybody ever heard, besides any of this, has anybody ever heard of First uh, Citizens Bank? Oh, wow, that's, that's a good amount. Uh, when, it, when it was sort of approached to me, uh, I'm like, who? You guys are medical people. Like, what are you doing in my good in Miami, Florida, trying to do commercial middle market business? It's like, come on, guys. But, uh, you know, a little while ago, made the decision to go over, and we've done wonders, and the institution is uh, beyond phenomenal. Uh, apart from that, uh, a huge thank you to the facilitators. Um, I've had the privilege to partner, uh, not only partner with Oga, uh, who's the vice chair, but also we put together strategically each facilitator to be able to deliver the best experience and to support Jenny and Ashaki in this new journey uh, so you all could actually have a phenomenal experience. 43 years, what's being done with this class, it has not nece necessarily been done in the past. So again, be super, super grateful. Uh, and just a huge shout out to EPC, our Executive Planning Committee. They work behind the scenes. Uh, they're super awesome. Um, again, they're, we're in support of Jenny and Shaki on this on this journey. And uh, but here we go. So uh, the next people who let's see, who's that? Yeah. All right, right. On. So all right. So I have to say thank you to my family. Again, gratitude is huge in our household, like beyond, right? Uh, because what we do and what we wake up and what we build in our community and keeping it safe, it's like, you know, you gotta just say thank you. So my wife, uh, we've been married for nine years together for 15. Uh, I call her mama champ. The reason being is uh, a couple of years ago, I was involved in an accident. I was very heavy in triathlons. Uh, went down, wrong day, you know, bad, bad timing. Uh, but it was just something in our household. And with that, she, she, she took the reins uh, as, as I was literally learning how to walk again uh, and then run. Um, you know, she was like, hey, I want to try it. I want to bring something back, some energy back. Uh, she started, uh, literally, her first race was April of 2021, and she podiumed in six major races uh, last year. Um, she had a race about three. Yeah. <laughs> so, talk, talking about support and dedication and allowing them to allow me to be able to do what I am passionate about, and that's the community. You know, huge shout out. Uh, my daughter, call her little champ. Uh, she's following in suit. She's going to be uh, participating in her uh, first triathlon in a couple of months. And baby champ, TJ. Um, same thing. And they are, when they hear about Leadership Miami, are also on, a, on another board uh, with Casa Valentina. Um, we're embedding it and we're instilling it in them early. And with that, again, that's what we're all doing here. You guys are the next leaders within Miami Dade and amongst your own organization. So with that, again, super grateful. All right, let's go into, uh, first, I have a pledge for my little mini weeks. And what I would like to do is, we as a family, or my, my kids, what they're gonna do is they're gonna donate to a team who has maximum participation, it could be all five. Uh, we are willing to donate from our family up to $100 per team. If you do something simple, LinkedIn, post a picture of any part of this presentation, uh, tag the following, especially the Greater Miami Chamber of Commerce, hashtag LM43, represent you guys, uh, for Citizens Bank, for the first, and you can tag me, why not? 
Um, and again, the team with the most representation in the post by the end of this weekend, uh, we will be very, very uh, proud to be able to uh, just put money back into the organizations that you all are uh, representing. Uh, and I do feel that as a bank also, we're working on something I should have my answer by, by next week, but uh, we are looking forward to uh, add to the pot in Project Pitch Night. So um, with that, uh, again, you, you you have those four four tasks, and now let's let's get into business, right? Who is First Citizens Bank? Uh, it was a lot that I needed to learn about again the bank, and within Miami Dade, the banking community is is big by name. However, it is small by the nature of the pool and the community that we play in, and that's that's for all of us. Um, we were founded in 1898, so you know nothing new. Um, we're headquartered in Raleigh, North Carolina. We just became the top, uh, within the top 20 of U.S. banks by asset size. Uh, so we are, I, I know it says approximately 110, we're actually at 111, actually pushing after uh, Q1, a $120 billion bank in terms of assets. And we span across 22 states. Uh, one of the biggest things that I love about First Citizens Bank is it's always been a family approach. When I started my career, it was by a family-owned community bank, and I'm, I'm not biased to say it, uh, but it's Ocean Bank. Loved everything that they did for me. It's been very difficult to, to, to find a culture uh, that really instills and knows your name. It's a super flat organization. Myself, I have a boss. He has a boss who's over the area. They have a boss and we report straight to the holding family that this is the largest family controlled bank in the United States. So with that, again, it is more of a family built bank. Uh, again, I'm very personable uh, with, with the community, my family, and the way that we're all treated within the organization is just as that. Uh, so how do we become at uh, 120? Well, we had a good marriage. We recently married, uh, no, we recently acquired CIT Bank uh, and what they are known as is more of a middle market corporate banking. Uh, that has been a long time of my, uh, my background, uh, which is middle market banking, especially here, the state of Florida and Georgia. Uh, and with that, we came together at one bank and we're actually expanding out our bank. Very little changes, but again, just the culture itself, more to that family, like, hey, Craig, I'm your banker, uh, I'm sorry, I'm your client and I really need X, Y, and Z from you. So that's the delivery, uh, the service agreement that we're trying to deliver to the market itself. Um, the, the numbers itself, again, we have 600 plus branches, 22 states, and uh, major MSAs, 46. Um, one of the biggest things that we try to do as bankers is just understand what's going on in the market. Um, this year, you know, from, from, from 2020, to this year, it's been a cluster in so many uh, ways. Uh, it's just like, hmm, what are we gonna wake up to later on today or tomorrow? So, you know, this, this is something that's forever changing. Uh, but also, we need to find out, especially here in Miami Dade, what makes this market tick, what, what, what's affecting it, and how could we be of service um, in providing a resource back to the community. Um, there are two major banking segments. Uh, the commercial banking sec uh, segment, that's what I'm a part of. I deal with uh, more than the majority, just private, uh, private companies, uh, not so many uh, public companies. Uh, but you know, we we're not biased, but this is more so my passion of that. Uh, you know, I, I still like to call them that small business owner who's trying to make it to the next level. So, you know, in terms of dollar-wise, um, it's, it's around $10 million in revenue size. And um, we, I was telling the Shockey uh, that, you know, I had a presentation and it's just because of something we're doing in here, relationship um, to a $3 billion corporation just this past Wednesday. As a matter of fact, I'm using a, a lot of this presentation from that. So think about it, billion dollars already established. You guys are beyond a billion dollars of what you're gonna instill back in this community. But again, this is my passion from small to, to, to large. Um, we have general banking, that's your everyday banking. Uh, you know, I'm part of that, not necessarily private banking yet, but <laughs> all good. Um, the capital solutions, and this is something where uh, I really got my start and something that I bring to the market is uh, more so around credit structures. 
Uh, it, it could be a foreign language to you all. Uh, I have had the opportunity to work under oil and gas, uh, one of the largest importers of, um, of, of a steel commodity within the entire US, um, down to roofing contractors who are very well known who we see drive by, um, as well as trucking companies. And some of these people beyond just the company structure itself, <clears throat> these are also my good friends. Uh, these are also people, um, and everybody's fundraising right now, but these are people when I raised my hand, when fundraising, we had to pivot. Everybody had to pivot in 2020, uh, but we had to talk tasks, and I reached out to these very people, and we got every single dollar that we raised uh, to um, uh, renovate 14 bedrooms in the middle of a pandemic, from TVs to dressers to new beds to anything you can think of to make a comfortable bedroom. Uh, I raised my hand, went out in the community because of the relationships, and they were like, hey, no problem, how much do you need? So um, again, it comes back to this, is doing what's right for my clients. In turn, they do what's right by me as well as this community. Uh, the way we partner, very simple, is exactly what you all are doing in your groups today. I mentioned relationships. Relationships are everything. You're gonna find out what your strengths are. You're gonna leverage those strengths within your group and each and every one of you all and your teams are gonna deliver something to the market that's far beyond imaginable and appreciative. So with that, again, the way we partner as an organization is no different. We, we get our strengths, uh, we put them together and then we send it to market to do what's right. Um, with that, and I have a minute left um, on, on the docket, but Again, I, I have really taken on um, a new gratitude and a new scope for Leadership Miami, uh, not only with my group of LM41, we're gonna hear from an amazing speaker later on today, he was actually in my class, I have a great deal of respect for him. Uh, number two, with Leadership Miami uh, 42, I know a lot of them are in the house and they actually want history uh, last year by winning um, not only Project of Page Night, but also Project of the Year. Uh, Chris, I'm not sure if he's here today, he was a part of that facilitated team, but um, I learned so much from this group. Uh, we sort of went against the grains a little bit in, 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 in uh, picking the lead facilitators, but just knowing who it was that I was dealing with and some of the facilitators within, uh, these are the people who are representing you all. Uh, and with that, again, on behalf of First Citizens Bank and as an organization. I thank you all for what you do. Uh, whatever you need from us, feel free to reach out. Uh, and that's twofold, within banking, as well as uh, with your projects individually. So with that, I appreciate it. Good luck. Looking forward to seeing you all at the trustee luncheon, as well as Project Fish Night. Let's do it.